Welcome to Brooklyn's Museum, the home of British motorsport. We have the iconic banking of the famous circuit, or the old circuit, just over there. And it is also home to what I consider to be the greatest piece of British engineering, <coughs> forget the French, ever. Ladies and gentlemen, there's Concord for crying out loud. All rather apt as well because we have in our hands the 2011 Triumph 675R, which is a pretty nifty piece of British engineering as well. The bike costs £9,799, which seems a lot for a 600 Super Sport, and it is £1,400 more than the standard 675, but you get a hell of a lot of bang for your buck. So let's start with the Brembo front disc monoblock brakes. Not only do you get that, you also get Olin suspension throughout. I mentioned the rather snazzy, unique paint job with the exposed red frame here. Plus, my friends, you get a quick shifter, which will help all you budding track enthusiasts shave an extra few tenths of a second off your lap time. The engine is Triumph's inline triple cylinder 675cc unit, which produces 126 brake horsepower, 115 at the back wheel, and 55 pound foot of torque. But my goodness, it's not about the figures, it's about how it delivers that torque. It has almost a completely flat power band. It is unbelievable. That triple just lets it pull from about, well, tick over 1,000, 2,000 RPM, unlike most 600s that you have to get up to about six or 7,000 before you really start to get excited. It is pretty spectacular. Accurate, it's got to be said. So what do all these new bits add up to? Well, it's got to be said, it has to be one of the best bikes I've ever ridden. And I'm not just saying that because I'm a big Triumph fan. You know I love my 600 Super Sports. Had a brilliant time on the ZX-6R recently, the R6, and the new Gixxer 600, which is an incredible machine. But this is something else. To have a 600 that delivers so much power, so much torque, low down in the rev range, it means that you're not struggling to wind it up. You're not having to wring the neck of the bike from the word go to get the most out of it. If you wanted a bike just to literally race on track, this is probably one of the best track tools I've ever ridden. I sound like a waxing lyrical about this. Well, do you know what? I kind of am. I'm excited because Concorde's behind me, but I'm more excited about getting on this and riding at home because it is that special. Yes, it's a lot of money. £9,799 for a 600, when 600 usually cost you six, seven grand, seems a bit. But if you think the standard bike, most 600s come around eight and a half thousand pounds, you're paying an extra 1,400 quid for all these goodies. You also get a really nice LCD and LED display it, if you ask me, is a spectacular machine and as much as I hate to say this, having plumped for the ZX 6R in our recent kind of 600 shootout and it's always been my favourite 600, I've got a new favourite super sport bike. It's this one and I blooming well love it and it seems fitting that we have it in white to stand in front of Concord because trust me these are two great pieces of British engineering. And don't forget if you want to check out more reviews, news and everything else we get up to just head to bikechannel.com and you can also add us on facebook.com forward slash bike channel or at bike channel on Twitter. Thank you.